Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gladius Relics of War, Warhammer 40k. My name is Saiken and today we're joining the Emperor's Finest in their quite intense battle against the Orcs, who are now starting to come through two different uh, sites, and there's even a new Orc city down here. But that thing needs to go down, and it needs to go down fast. Uh, we might be able to hold this southern flank a bit longer. But boy oh boy, this is not what I've signed up for. Not at all. Good, let's see. I think the easiest way to get rid of the flyers is by essentially burning them to death. Putting another dome this time over here. Deftocopters are being attacked and I think being brought down. Got a nice little level 9 captain here. That is more than willing to do the job. And. Still worried about that orc back there. Uh, can we further upgrade? Yes, we can further upgrade more. Uh, more loyalty for our cities. That's what I was looking for. Let's move over here. And I think that Grokonaut is a problem, but the Tank Busters are a big problem as well. War buggies are being shot at um let's close the front line here moving up and killing the orcs very good. That Grokonaut is definitely the biggest problem at the moment. 88 hit points. What the actual live in hell. Okay, well, let's start hitting these guys. I don't know why the Grokonaut cannot be hit from where we are. Good, still a very solid formation. As I mentioned multiple times, we need more front line. The war boss is coming. This guy here is trying to flank us. Uh oh. Oh, the veterans survive. No, no, 
No. These guys were there from the very beginning. No. Rest in peace. They finally succumb to their wounds. That is annoying. Highly, highly annoying. I'm telling you, it's the flyers, man. It's so annoying. Good, we're moving up here. Got to deal with that war boss. hit him very hard good we don't even want him to survive uh, that very nice gotta level up damn I'm salty but our one of our first units <clears throat> has finally gone down. Good, we're moving up next turn. We're going to heal everybody there. Okay. In the meantime, let's focus on the big boy. Chaplains uh, at this point in time are starting to be the front line. We got more Devastator Marines. We need that. Could technically build more. I think we need to. Acquire more, uh, more land. And I still need more income. Okay, Maganops. Uh, how much damage would that be? 3.5. We're moving up and let's hit the Maganops. Who really needs healing at this point? It feels that... Oh yeah, the turret, of course. Question is, is that a bit wasted?
deals a lot of damage against the flyer. Let's first of all see if we can get that flyer down. Good, flyer is down. We're moving up forward and can we kill the war buggies? Yes, we can. Okay, that looks much better now. I don't uh, fear that. We're We can simply heal up. Easy. He can take the punishment. Moving over here. Kill him. Very good. Ah, uh, this guy doesn't even have morale. He's just standing there like a true champ. We're slowly but surely slicing him down. In the meantime... Okay, I see every single building requires actual population to work, so currently... We even... Uh, we haven't even gotten built enough buildings so let's do population increase as well end of turn okay lots of damage but that was to be expected We need to focus on that big boy to push in further into the city. Good, for starters, more damage and heal up. Continuing to move into here and let's put another telekinetic dome up. That's a great position. Securing it with a bit of front line. Good, we're moving up closer. Oh, no, 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 wait. This machine here can definitely take some punishment. There you go, 18 points of damage. Oh yeah! Because the librarians are going uh, through that Grokonaut like uh, as if he would have no armor whatsoever. 
we got our wait, 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 we got our anti-air, which is finally rolling off the production. I could build another uh, librarian, but I really prefer to do more frontline. With another heal if needed for now. Just getting this uh, big boy down. And I'll keep the orbital strike. Instead, we're just going to normally attack. Okay, so I think the city is fine. Let's end the turn and see what the front line does. Yeah, as expected, they're trying to flank. Okay, a couple of thoughts around this. For starters, not afraid of a couple of orcs. Shockwave will teach them. A very valuable lesson. You can't use teleport uh, telekinesis in order to get out afterwards. That is unfortunate. get these guys down but almost is not quite there moves up then at the front line heals himself Or buggy is almost down. Like I said, almost is not quite down. Good, the big boy might finally go down. Uh, I would want to use my orbital bombardment in order to help over here. good wow that's a lot of experience 10 experience everybody levels up that thing was brutally strong wow Another orbital bombardment ready. Cool. Good. 
can get through both of these guys and very soon we're, we're going to be inside of the city. Um, let's free up some more space for two rounds. I think the city now needs to just continue to, uh, to grow. Uh oh, our uh, devastate the marines are down. That, those stupid air attacks, they are costing us so many lives. Good. Let's move over here. We need the healing. There we go. Everybody is nicely healed. We lost a set of highly decorated uh, Devastator Marines. I don't like that. Let's just try to deal as much damage as we can. These guys are almost down. Shockwave does not deal that much damage, but it is still okay. Oh, there's another all course. Gotta be careful. This guy is actually relatively strong. But the captains are super good frontliners, so I have full faith and trust in them. We're just going to start taking that citadel. Because F you. Anti air is finally coming in. Unfortunately, we lost the Devastator Marines. Okay, we have a problem here. Specifically that war boss is a problem. Orbital deployment. How does that work? Okay, interesting. We're moving up, let's see. These are anti-air. Well, that's not really that helpful. There's another big boy coming from down here.
Uh, ooh, yeah, well, we're moving up. I think the shockwave should kill them. Almost, okay. Is there another war boss here? Yeah, yeah. We, they, those war bosses need to die first and foremost. We're going to continue to tank. Just want to refill. demoralizing them and strengthening our troop. Moving behind our own lines and then this should be a kill. Another kill right here. Our boss is taking some nice damage. Jet is almost completely down. Um, this sky is a problem. I wish it would be a little bit clearer which units we can still order. Look, I think we're just going to go here and for the lack of a better option. Kill this guy over there. Fantastic. Okay, our city, still building the same stuff. Uh, we got a lot of units. I wonder if we, if we build another kind of production facility, if we would produce faster, but I think by for now, Let's focus a tiny bit on actual research production. It seems to me that we haven't done anything in this regard whatsoever. More vehicle armor is helpful. We're fighting a lot with infantry, but we got a couple of vehicle, one vehicle now on the, uh, on the battlefield. Devastate the Marines are taking damage again. The Flyers are the bane of my existence here. Oh wow. And our captain is in dire, dire straits. Uh, do we have a heal? No on this front. No on this front. He can heal himself. But he can withstand some more punishment. But not a lot.
the war boss is the biggest problem by far. to go and take protection for now. Our most efficient way of dealing with the flyers is to simply burn them down. Warboss takes more damage. I like that. Continuing with even more damage. Can we hit that, that war boss? Yeah, war bosses are nasty. They require a proper front line to deal with them. can't move in deeper we gotta attack there and hold the front line moving back and just staying calm for now on the other hand reducing his morale Almost tempted to put another fortress here just so that we do have like ample fortresses. Okay, well, here we go. These units are quite strong. Good, we're moving up. Let's get this war boss down, shall we? Nice. Levitating, I think over here. <sighs> yeah, we yeah we could do that. We can continue moving in. Okay, cool, good. So levitate to here. A lot of enemies, but I think we're fine. Shockwave. Shockwave, super strong. here um, get 
Get these mega knobs, they are strong as well. Chaplain moves up and levels. Okay, cool. So we are healing everybody here. And even our structure is being healed, that's so helpful. Self-heal. We move to here. Would also simply move to here and wait for any form of flyers that are going to come in. Overwatch. Yeah. We will need to place a new tower here. Okay, devastate the space marines. Let's orbital drop them here. Super good technology. Uh, what else are we going to do? I mean, we could try to expand the city a little bit further somewhat devastate the marines yeah we need more backline firepower and they are good they have a long range they are good against the heavy targets that the rest are not good against We do have a problem on this side now. Good, let's focus on getting the city down. That should be one of our absolute my main priorities. Equally, let's hold the front line here. More damage on the city. And we need to march in, get a bit closer. Orbital bombardment, yes please. Continuing to directly attack the city, yes please. going to wait here for an overwatch for flyers because they are the only ones that really start to suck good if they if they push in we will overwatch Skip those two units and yeah, hit the killer clans. 
This is an old fortress, a very old fortress. Hmm, where, where would I place another fortress? I mean, we could place it here, which actually would not be a bad idea. Or she can't do that, but we could put it here. Also could put it here. Let's do that. Now grab, grab this, get more visibility, and both of the fortresses can help each other. Good, we got substantially more research. I will continue with that. I think we need more and better technology. Let's end the turn. Okay, these guys are a problem, uh, specifically the big, uh, the big uh, Gorgonaut. But, you know, in every, um, in every um, setback lies an opportunity for greatness, as they say, learning opportunity. And in this case, our learning opportunity is uh, I get better and better with cliffhangers. So we're going to do exactly um, a pause here and we're going to come back, hopefully trying to defend that eastern uh, flank. This is an absolute carnage of, um, of a fight. But we're slowly but surely moving forward and the thing the level 18 city almost as big as ours they are growing fast that thing could uh, be destroyed soon so join me the next time when it uh, when we call it gladius warhammer 40k relic of war thanks for watching guys and have a great day bye bye